Hello everyone, this is Mike from Sabron, and today I have a treat for you. There is a dual SSD external enclosure that you can run in RAID. Yep, that's right. Our new Rocket XT RMQ SSD is available and it comes in two flavors. We've got the 16 terabyte bad boy, which is the one I'm going to be talking about today. And we've also got the non SSD version if you want to include your own NVMe SSDs. Now this enclosure can support RAID 0, RAID 1 or sequential, meaning that you're able to configure this external drive any way you like. And we've made this even easier thanks to our Sabrent RAID Assistant on Windows. Also check out our videos on how to set up RAID on Windows and Mac using these drives. Honestly, it's really simple. But enough of me talking, let's get unboxing and see what you get in this drive. So the one that we'll be unboxing today is the Rocket XTRMQ 16 terabyte external SSD. Now this kit comes with absolutely everything you need to get started. So this is compatible with both Windows and Mac. And inside the box, you get the instruction manual, which will go through all the setup processes. It will also come with a quick guide for Windows users to get this uh, set up in the best performance setting so that you're not gonna run into any issues when running this up. And then the start of the show. So this little bad boy has two SSDs built into this. And then if we move this to one side. So in the box, we've got the Thunderbolt cable and we should have the power adapter and the power cable, which we have. So let's take a look around this SSD. So as you can see, in terms of the size, considering that it has two NVMe SSDs inside, this thing is not only light, but it's actually pretty small as well. So. If we take a look around the bottom, first of all, we've got the LED indicator light just over here. We've also got the Thunderbolt connection just over here. We've got the DC in as well as the power button. Now, if we take off this rugged case, we'll be able to have a little clearer idea on what's included. So the LEDs indicate each SSD drive. So you've got number one and number two. Now, because this is a full aluminium build, heat dissipation should be fantastic. And just to let you know, this is integrated temperature and health monitoring systems. So now that we've unboxed this SSD, let's talk about it. So inside has two really fast eight terabyte NVMe SSDs, very similar to something like this, essentially has two of them inside this enclosure. Not only that, but this is also Thunderbolt certified. And we've worked really closely with Intel to get this officially certified by Intel for Thunderbolt. So what does that mean? It means that not only do you get fast speeds, but also very reliable speeds. For a lot of professionals, they like to work from external drives. But like with anything, things can happen. And being able to set this up as a RAID 1 setup means that if one of the drives fails, you haven't just lost all your work or corrupted all your work. You have another backup built into this thing. This is a very unique product. And if you are a professional that relies on their external SSDs, then you really should be looking at something like this. And we've made it easy for you to go traveling with this. Not only is this built from a really durable aluminium, we've also popped a rubber case on it as well. So if you need durability while on the go, this is the drive to go for. You can get single disk speeds of up to 1,500 megabytes per second with software RAID speeds of up to 2,500 megabytes per second. Now that is impressive. So I thought I'd show you some of the expected speeds that you may get, depending on obviously your system and what OS you're running. Right now I'm using Mac OS just to kind of demonstrate this and to show you sort of the different speeds that you'd expect out of RAID 0, RAID 1 and JBOD. So with RAID 0, obviously this is optimized for speed and you can see that clearly with the right speeds nearing uh, 2,800 megabits per second. So uh, megabytes per second. So this is really really fast and then we've got read speeds nearing 2200 megabytes per second so this is 
optimal if you are looking for the fastest speeds possible out of a dual SSD setup. Then we have RAID 1, which is the backup uh, system, which basically gives you uh, half the amount of storage, but obviously gives you that fault tolerance that you may be looking for. Now with the right speeds, still really, really fast, still faster than actually most external SSDs out there at nearly 1,400 megabytes per second. And then the reads, well, I mean, the reads are again, just crazy at 2,200 megabytes per second. So again, pretty much blowing most external SSDs out there. And then when we look at JBOD, we get similar read and uh, we get similar write speeds at just under uh, 1,400 megabytes per second. And then the reads is at its slowest, but again, still really really fast compared to again a lot of competing external SSDs at 1450 close enough megabytes per second so this is just to give you a representation on if you were to set it up in any one of the three most popular configurations what sort of speeds would you be expecting on the reads and write with 16 terabytes up for grabs depending on how you set it up this is a fantastic drive. If you need any more information, I will leave links down in the description below to all our video tutorials as well as our guide on how to set this up with the with our software on both Mac and Windows. But there we have it. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give us a like. And also, if you want to check this product out, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can pick one up. Also, if you're new here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.